What is up YouTube, this is Josso360 back and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my outro. So this is a very basic and simple type of outro to your video that leads the people like the, your audience to other videos of yours um, and also has motives like Twitter, subscribe and yada yada yada. Looks very nice, clean and it's very simple to make. So anyway, there we go, we're going to close it out. What you're going to need is Adobe Photoshop CS6, um, After Effects by Adobe CS6. Um, if you want to, CS6 is only if you want to follow along very easily. However, After Effects is not really needed as long as you have a video program that is able to lay a video and make it play to like two videos at the same time as you saw. So maybe Premiere here and uh, Vegas. But anyway, we're going to start off here, and we're going to go straight into Adobe Photoshop. And now we're going to go File New, and you're going to create yourself a 1280 by 720 document. That That is correct. Uh, width is 1280 pixels, your height is 720 pixels, and your resolution is 720. Now, I like to use that because it is very high, well, high HD, obviously. And um, it, it just makes it more crisp. However, if you want... If you want to use another one, you cannot use the sizes that I'll use in this tutorial. Um, so it's best off going 720. However, you can always go off I because if it's a 720 resolution and you're on like a 10 resolution here, my size will be 6, uh, 6 point to what your size could be like 60 point or something like that. So, um, And the other thing is you just want your background content tra transparent. doesn't really matter. I just like it like that. So here we go. Now you're going to be creating your background first up, so th depending on what color scheme you want, I will be creating a radial gradient up here, so that means it's a circle of color in the middle and it fades out into like another color, so the white is the one in the middle and the blue here is the one on the outside, that is the color of my logo, so I'm going to be using that. And you're just going to take your pointer here, once you click your gradient here and uh, select radial, and you're going to find the center close you can and drag it out to there. Now you can always use different types of gradients like that or kind of like that if you really want to but I think the radial one works best for my, lo my logo if that does nicely. I'm going to undo all these. There we go. So, there we go. Boom. Okay. So next, you're going to want to add your own logo if you have one. So I have a 360, obviously. So here we go. Uh, file. And then what you want to do is I'm going to resize it. I'm going to make it about 350 pixels by 350 pixels. So this is my one because it's a perfect square. Get my, lit my little circle cutout tool here and go around. Now this is going to be a very rough cut because I don't have time to really top up the edges. So as you can see the top isn't as clean as it could be. But anyway that fits pretty nicely there. It's pretty good. Now what you want to do is you're going to go File New again and you're going to create another 12 edit. The exact same document so if unless you created something else before this uh, it should all say. So exact same thing again and just fill in with the paint tool with a random color. Um, so this is going to be the background of your video, so not many people are actually going to see it. So you can just choose any r color that you kind of like. I like to use gray just in case they do see it. It will be a bit professional looking. Then you're just going to save it and I'll find the place here. All intro and I'll call it, I think vid background, no for the vid, yeah. I'll call it for the vid and you're just going to save it as a PSD, so just your Photoshop. Don't save it as a JPEG, okay? Okay, done. You can close that one now. And that we close my logo here. Now what you want to do with that is you're going to go file place and you're going to find that thing that you just saved. Oh my gosh. All intro, where, what are the, for the vid, there we go. So now that's going to be a perfect uh, video YouTube size thing. 
that's what actually made you uh, make it that 1280 by 720 because that is the video box basically on YouTube now you're going to drag this down to size now be sure to always hold shift first and then drag because it will always maintain its aspect ratio that's what you want for video then unclick then unclick shift and that should be pretty good now I'm going to center it yeah. I'm going to make it level with that in fact, I'm going to do it for the 360 as well. So what you want to do is, after you place it, you're going to go select your background layer, go Control A, which basically selects the whole thing. Click on, well, I'm going to do my logo first, and I'm going to, there we go, and make him perfectly center using these ones up here. Or if you don't have those, uh, just go align layers to section as long as you have the background layer selected. Now with that still selected, you're going to go for the vid, or oh, well, yeah, or whatever you saved it, and just center that as well. Don't do the uh, horizontal one, or oh, the yeah horizontal center because they'll put it in the middle. And then just deselect it by going Control D. Now we're going to dress up that. So what you want to do is you're going to rasterize it, and then you're going to double click the picture on the little layer here. I'm going to add a drop shadow so make it look like it's kind of floating. So here we go. There we go. Outer glow would be nice make them kind of like a bluey so you can make these all your settings like if you want different colors and all that these are what I recommend they look nice uh, next I might just add a stroke we? one point make it look like it's a box you, know, uh, you can put a gradient overlay but I wouldn't really recommend it at the moment so and that's mainly it and okay so now after you've dressed that up you can do any changes to that you can make it a uh, huge stroke uh, like massive drop shadow and all that but after you've done that you're just gonna contr control G uh, whoops that was weird <laughs> control J and then they'll just duplicate it so ooh, yeah that's not meant to be there huh anyway so ignore those group copies and then you're just gonna go shift and drag it across so here we go and you, you can do this but well, I'm doing this by but you can actually use the line up here if you really wanted to that looks good enough so that actually forms the basis of your video uh, base now what you wanna do is you're gonna add some text here so I'm gonna click on the text and I don't know why it always takes a while to load I like using hands all extended and I'm gonna use four point up here I'm gonna go check I'll make him I'll make them gray match that so there we go go check these out yeah I think it might yeah, it'll look better bigger. So you go five, five point done, and they'll automatically lock on. Then what you want to do is you're gonna put subscribe down here. Now you might want to make this probably six point because you want a lot of people to subscribe. Obviously, you got to sub, subscribe. There we go. And again, you're gonna take it back here and you're gonna let it lock on by yourself now I'm gonna add my own little Twitter thing so since I am a machinima partner I have to make sure a lot of the things I use aren't copyrighted so I have to use these uh, free Twitter icons so these aren't the exact Twitter icons they're actually made by a person who's put them up for free just t type in Twitter Twitter cons there and you can get a heap of them so I might go black and I'm just gonna drag him over it's already a nice transparent background anyway look at that perfect fit and just put him over here to the side now if you wanna make that subscribe an actual button just again place the file that you had that you saved Okay, for the bit, there we go, and then you're just gonna, you don't really actually need to shift it, you can actually draw a square if you want to, but I like using these anyway, there we go, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna go place it, and then you're gonna drag it below subscribe, now you won't be able to see it, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna rasterize it again, and then you're gonna double click it you're gonna go drop shadow, outer glow, stroke I like using that combination, that is a really good combination 
Now you're saying you still can't see your subscribe. Put a gradient overlay on it. It'll look cool. So, oh, oh, oh cancel. We got okay for now, but I'm gonna change that one back to white. And now back to editing it. Gradient. Make it kind of the same as your background because see how that looks interesting. And go okay for now. That's good enough. Looks a bit weirder. So anyway, there we have it. That's your main uh, thing. Back here, I'm off. <laughs> Doesn't look as good as. There we go. Make it look cool. Go out. There we go. There we go. There we go. You know what? I might take the stroke off. Yeah, take the stroke off. Anyway, there we go. Have it. That is your main background. Now you can go up here and put your little name as I put a Drosso 360. And then all you're going to do is you're going to save as as a PSD and save it as a. I don't know, video background, yes, I'll just save it as that, done, done. Then you can close out of Photoshop, and now you're into After Effects. So now you're going to go where you save the file, and you're going to go, and you drag it into there. And so when that imports, you're going to go Merge Layers as a, footi uh, as, as a footage, okay. Then that will pop up, and so you're going to place that there. Now once you've placed that there, go to Composition, uh, Composition Settings, and make sure it's 1280, 720p, 29.97 frames per second, that's typical HD TV, and you're going to make it to your duration, so if you want 15 seconds, that's what I recommend here, put it in here if you want 20 seconds, 30 seconds, God knows an hour. <laughs> so then there we go, so after you've done that, you are going to need to edit uh, two videos, 15 seconds long. I've already got some up here, so I'm going to put my little tough one. I'm going to put, I think that's 15 seconds. Yep, that's 15 seconds. There we go. And I'll also put my XP 400s. There we go. What you're going to do with those, you're going to drag them on top of the video background Photoshop file and just drag them down doesn't really matter right now if you hold shift or not because since your boxes are aspect ratio you can just resize it to your boxes I don't believe those boxes have an outer glow on them for some reason I don't believe those boxes have an outer glow anyway so if I haven't put an outer glow on those boxes I'm sorry but there is an outer glow supposed to be on those boxes because it looks like the subscribe button it looks cooler. Anyway, so after that, you're going to get your other video. Again, put them on. Resize him. There we go. And put them right there. Again. And boom, 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 boom. There we go. There we go, there we go. Oh my god! There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. That's good enough. Done. Okay, so after you've done that, there we go. Might want to uh, make check these out a bit bigger. But anyway, so there you have it. Now what you want to do is you're going to go Composition, Add to Render Queue, or you can go File and do that. But once you add to Render Queue, it will add it there, it will save it as an AVI and you can render. Now after this, uh, my tips after that is when it saves as an AVI it will be laggy and it will save as 1.15 gig. That is absolutely incredible for 15 seconds worth of video with no audio. So what you want to do after that, just to make it better to play, run it through a free video converter and go to WMV, um, then it comes down to 17.9 uh, megabyte. Um, outro and it won't be laggy so if it's laggy when you play it out of the AVI just don't worry convert it down to a WMV there's not there's barely any uh, quality interference or anything just convert it down and then you have your beautiful outro which you'll be able to see in about 10 seconds so thank you guys for watching and um hope you click some of those links in the outro especially the subscribe and I'll see you in the next video this is the Josso 360 signing off Oh,